we are now going to filter the gens. In the galaxy tutorial, I did not see any filtering step, but I thought I would bring this up so that you also learn how to filter gens. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to keep only gens with read counts greater or equals to five. So this is what we are going to do. We will first get this expression keep. And I'll say row sums. I'll say counts EDS. And I'll say greater or equals to five. Greater or equals to five. So I'll issue this command. So what we've done is that we've given this expression. So that means that gens with read counts greater or equals to five will be kept here okay the keep here is going to um keep that record this variable will keep that record so all gens with counts greater equals to five will be here and then we issue this command so we say dds and say dds again and we say keep so what we are doing is that we are now selecting the gens that are in the keep variable. So that's what we have here. So first we issue this expression and now we are doing the subsetting to keep only gens with read count greater or equals to five. Now with the five, I selected it based on the original basic two tutorial, but the criteria for filtering you have to Decide that yourself. You can read papers and publication to see what was used and then try to um, use that. So this is a number that I chose um, from the Decept2 tutorial. So it's there's no reason per se for choosing this number. I just use that because I saw it in that original tutorial. So make sure that whatever number you are going to use, you can justify it. That's what I'll say here. Okay, so Let's um, get this. Let's subset and get our yes. Okay, so we have done that. So now we are going to perform the differential expression analysis. So we will do that by running another command, and then the seek two will perform some statistical tests. So that is what I have here. So we perform.